welcome back to your normal services. Uh, so before you leave, make sure you check everything. A couple of y'all, you guys know the deal. Elmwood is doing bushes, the rest of y'all are mowing, minus Josh and Scott, but a couple of y'all have something extra on top of mowing. So make sure you check everything. Um, we did a pretty good job of getting everything back together Friday, but go ahead and check your truck, trailer, ramp rack, if applicable, for necessary tools. Uh, Jordan, what happened when you used PA's motor? Uh, the blade shot. I mean, not the blade, the belt. The belt popped. So Jordan did that Friday. He saved Brandon a solid from driving all the way down to Riverwood, cranking up his mower, belt popping, then having to come back. So this morning, I also urge you to get the mower off the trailer if you need to and engage your blades. Just make sure everything's working. It would be a big pain in the ass to drive 10 to 20 minutes just for something to act up. Plus, uh, the riding mowers should be the same. The push mowers are probably different. So it's not going to be a bad idea to check them out and engage the blades. Um, some of you have already asked, what are we going to do with yards with debris? Um, you guys all know the note to dispatcher note, note to dispatcher function. Uh, there is a small amount of debris. Let's try and mulch it up with the mower, blow it. Where you get to medium, large amounts of debris, put uh, in the note to dispatcher storm clean up. That way I can send them an estimate for $80 an hour per man cleaning up the yard. I want to get them to accept that. Um, before you do it. Now also, if a client comes out and the yard's just littered with debris, you can just tell them you're gonna track your time and just bill them for cleaning up the yard. I'd also also ask them if you want, uh, if they want you to go ahead and mow it too, along with blowing everything off. Uh, if there's a tree down, we're still gonna mow because over the last two weeks, we've sent several emails about cleanups, tree removal and all that. So they've, they've been given an opportunity to get off the schedule if they want. So if there is a tree down in the backyard, mow whatever part of the backyard you can and mow the front. But also go ahead and put tree removal in the note to the dispatcher so we can send them an estimate for that, try and make some money there. Um, That's really all I had. I want to appreciate uh, or thank you all for the last two weeks. I know we were doing things you guys weren't necessarily hired for, doing things that were definitely a little bit dangerous and working in big groups, which can be frustrating when you guys are used to being in one truck with one other partner. So thank you all for not only coming to work during the uh, hurricane, not having power, no internet, um, maybe not a lot of food at home. I want to thank y'all for that. Uh, we made some money, but I'm definitely glad it's over with uh, and back to our normal gig. Um, if you notice anything mechanically wrong with your trucks, please let me know. Jordan, you, he and I just got brakes. Chris and TJ, y'all just got a new battery, so it shouldn't be dying. That truck, I noticed a death shake wobble. Um, now it's also with a giant skid steer back there. It's doing it without it. All right, so uh, as of last, last time I heard from Rob, the Waynesboro mechanic, the diesel truck should be done or was about done. So let's see if we can't lift that thing along. If it gets any worse, let me know. Um, Brian, I know you've been gone two weeks. I know you probably want to say something. Yeah, and, man. And welcome back. I hope your trip was fun. It was Woo! absolutely welcome amazing. Back. Thanks for I would like to uh, just come around and give each one of y'all a hug. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, give you a big one. Don't let me eat it. Come on. Really? Love you. This guy right here. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. Bad back. I just want to parade him around. Yeah. Hey, awesome. shouts out to Chris, Drew, Josh. Oh, who was, who was here the first day after the storm? Chris, Drew, Josh, Robert, me, was it just us five? Yeah, we, Brian's done. First day back, we came back, no power, nothing. Uh, I left the key with my wife. Uh, so then we got back, we had to wait even longer for my wife to drive the key up here for us to get in the shop. Um, anyone else care to uh, 
bit or speak about how much you enjoyed or did not enjoy the last two weeks because the first week of it when I was out there with you all I had a lot of fun second week when I had to get on the computer and, and split y'all up without having a, a solid plan I was stressed I think the stress of losing my house and a couple items also hit me I felt like paralyzed uh, the second week so I know I'm glad it's done. First week I had a lot of fun. Second week was not so good. I do want to take a second. Like, honestly, I don't know. Anybody else's house get destroyed? Might just make a bit. So, so, uh, so Jeremy. Well, not really destroyed, but yeah. just the back of the roof, the stainless come off. So you got some, yeah. Um, <laughs> Jeremy's house got destroyed, and, like, I don't understand how he did it, uh, but he put it together, and he made something absolutely terrible affected him personally um i can't imagine you know being in that house with your pregnant brand new wife um and then the aftermath of that and i, I honestly man you're, it's it's uh i didn't want to leave <laughs> to be honest so i called him i don't, um, I don't know i don't know and this is just open mm -hmm. conversation i don't know if you really well i guess you rode around your grandma's but it was bad i didn't um, see yeah i was but on that mission i was there to see if my grandmother was on the floor <laughs> or not but uh yeah i didn't see the whole aftermath really until i got back you know it was uh the craziest thing i saw um most of you guys were there remember that uh big job we did down on the brick road Fox Springs. Yeah, yeah that yeah. was uh, down on the hill. That was fucking wild. Jeez. I mean, you could barely drive through those brick roads. And here's me and Chris sliding down the brick road hill. There's trucks, you know, crews all on the side of the road, and we're like sliding because that machine is oh, shit. way too much for that truck. Yeah, it was a sketchy two weeks for sure. I, I really appreciate it, man. I want to, uh, all of y'all deserve a round of applause, so do this for yourself, but also for Jeremy for leading us through this. Thank you. Yeah. Did you want to go over these? Or are you just handing them to me? Um, I did. They all got their bonus. Oh. Um, does anyone want to look at the profit and loss statement for August? It was $52,000 in profit. Um, I don't, we didn't go over it, right? Someone. That was right before that. <laughs> it's a one. It's a one well, either, way, either way, the ones that earned bonuses got them. So okay. It's fifty grand in profit. Mm -hmm. um, well, I won't uh, bore you with it then. If anybody wants to yeah. see it, take one. They're just this one sheet, front and back. Um, this is the type of month that is shows what we can do when everything comes together. Uh, the team, the sales force, not having damages, getting collections. Uh, what else has to go right? Oh, not, not, not crazy expenses on equipment. Like, everything going right, the power that we have is huge, man. I mean, that's $50,000 in profit. That's, I can, you can't ask for any more than that. Um, but, again, thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. And y'all, everybody got your checks? Everybody's good? Yeah, yeah. Um, awesome. Cool. Well, like I said, don't, don't forget this. Check your list. Make sure you got what you need. And make sure what you have works. Um, and then small amounts of debris, let's uh, handle that, mulch it up, blow it, uh, meet in the large amounts, storm clean up, trees, tree removal on your note to dispatcher. Okay. All right, let's do it. And if you did it, get a biscuit, definitely get you one. Yeah, you can also call me too. Because what I would do is knock on the door and I try and sell them into it because you know you are if you skip. Obviously, unless you want to let the end. Right, right. Mm -hmm. no,